Yes, yes. It's Rasco. I am Rasco. How you doing? The Rasco and Disco Beer Review. Here at GBBF. Sorry, yes, I'm fine, mate. How are you? How are you? Good, great. So we, 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 I thought I'd like try and interview a few people, um, but I, I, I wanted the best first. <laughs> So instead of that, here's Rasco. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bonjour. So, how are we doing, mate? Mate, I'm good. I'm having that a uh, coffee stuff you recommended at the American bar. Yeah, I the, mean, the marzipan. Yeah. 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 What yeah. do you think of that? Um, it's one of the best beers I've had so far. In fact, two of the best beers I've had so far, I have been at the American bar. There is one beer with a really long name, which I'll put up on socials, uh, which involves orange peel. Its name is really long. Um, that is the second best beer. This, yes, yeah, so I'm going for the Rasco and Disco series. I'm something dark. I style. That's my. That was my first beer here. Oh, oh and my third favourite beer is actually on the American beer. It's a Scots export. I know we mentioned you not. Yeah, but uh, if it's all right, I'll give it a try. But yeah, yeah, plenty of time. But anyway. Yeah. One half of Rasco and Disco. So I've never really, I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty crap at interviews, so I just wing it. Um, but no so one does that. What, what's, going, what's going on with the channel and the old Instagram <laughs> thing? What, what is actually, a, you know, appearing apart from nothing well, going, no, I, going I, I forward? Hang on, I wouldn't say that. Cause, so basically, look, the Instagram I had to shut down because, look, we wanted to move on to YouTube. We wanted to move on to YouTube the right way. You never know, there might be a YouTube live in an hour or so, or not. That's the question. So, that is the question. The Instagram, quite frankly, it broke down, it kept breaking down. I was frustrated with it, because I do like talking to people on shows, and I even like speaking to Disco, believe it or not. Don't tell them that. Um, well, you probably get, you probably get wind. Yeah, somehow. Um, but it kept breaking down. It's good for about 10 minutes, and you have to worry about your connection and whether anyone else is streaming on your line and whatnot, etc., etc., etc. We have developed more videos in the past eight months than we have in three years. Right. So we've done more. We've gone over 200 videos. We don't have a huge subscriber on YouTube, but it's been a primary focus. We're doing lots. But will we resume the live? Wait and see. You never know. It's our anniversary coming and up. It, maybe. And, and it will, will it will it will you? Uh, there was talk of you moving or migrating, if, emigrating even if, to uh, to YouTube. Yeah. Is that is that still well, a possibility? Or here's the thing. Four years ago, we started this on YouTube. Right. But we did the lives on lockdown. Uh, well, just well, yeah, around the lockdown era. Because everyone else was on YouTube, so we thought, hey, we'll be clever. We also had higher uh, followers on Instagram, so we just went with numeric base. That's all. Right. But, and that's it. it was, and if I'm honest, it was my call. It was Disco's idea to start the lives. It was my idea to do them on Instagram. And if I'm honest, as much as I loved it, I kind of regret it. Yeah. Because um, it, was, it, was, it was a spate. I mean, just obviously been on YouTube for you know only seven years but there, there wasn't so many people doing live streams back when when I started yeah and then I but then I hooked up with a few people you know yeah. and uh, we were doing like lives once a week we're doing lives like once a week and this well before lockdown yeah. and then obviously the, the whole kind of lockdown era as you said happened and all of a sudden everyone how else can you Everyone do? was doing stuff, and yeah. like, how do you do this? How do you do that? And it was quite amusing to watch people. That I mean, it's not a numbers game to me. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. But, but certainly, people have got a lot more followers. Were really struggling with it, how to do it, technology of live streams, and it, it, it kind of made me chuckle, to be honest with you. But but yeah, I mean, but at the end of the day. It, it, there's, there's so much content out there now for the viewer yeah. I think it's actually there's more choice now a bit like the beers and beer styles than, than ever before uh, absolutely um, uh, personally I think if you if you go by the term craft beer you've hit a new era 
craft beer because it is no longer new. It is a household name, craft beer. Yeah. It, it's, it's no longer that uber trendy thing. Yeah, look at me, I'm doing some craft beer. No, no, everyone's doing craft beer. Everyone's curious about craft beer. Beer gigs. Beer gigs, but non beer gigs as well. Look, bottom line, I've said this before, I'll say it again. Craft beer is just good beer. That's all. I like good beer, I just, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, this whole re, re, is it real ale? Is it is it craft beer? It is. It it, is. It, it, it's a good beer. If I like it, I buy it again. If it's not, I won't. It, it is. Whatever it's called, beer. I'm going to now self plug. If you go to one of our interviews, I yeah, yeah I personally did with uh, Matt Mackay uh, from Bimba, um, who does uh, he brews whiskey, and he teamed up with Brew by Numbers. Um, he actually said to me on the side, the craft beer is simple. It's, it's got to be small and independentness, independentness, and it's got to be something you make with your hand. There are a lot of factory brewers, and literally, small brewers don't, can't afford that shit. All right, they might have a can machine. We'll allow them for that, because they've got to make the money somehow, but it is literally something you hand craft. That's it. Quebec yeast helps with that. But anyway, that's another... Yeah. It's a big, quick turnaround, anyway. It is, indeed. But no, um, I just really wanted to have like a chat with you, like in person, like, you know, rather than online or whatever. It's just sometimes it's you know, yeah. you bounce off each other, you, you get some info, and you know, going forward though, I hope you do start doing a regular thing on YouTube on a Saturday night, ten o'clock. That'd be great. You never know. Well, I'd like to know, but well, if, you, if we do, you will know. Yeah, but they're on Instagram, so... Uh, oh, it's Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, yeah, Facebook, you know. Fucking everywhere. Not TikTok, fuck that, sorry. No, that's all right. I say that, but in six months I'll probably be on it. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll be live on there. Time is ticking. Indeed. Uh, yeah. But anyway, what you what was you drinking? You, 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 you did mention it. We all covered that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I... Just, just for shits and giggles, I'm on uh, Lost Abbey's House Lager. So, and it's, it's um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very nice. It's very clean. Um, they've got, I don't know what it is. It's, it's on the American bar, but it's, um, I don't know if it's car. I don't think it's car. I don't think it's actually cask. It's, but they're in barrels, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. Like it's, zero gravity. I'm not sure what the deal is. fucking good over there. Yeah. Let, let me be honest. Me and Disco tend to swerve the American market and want to do our business. But, and yeah, you can say what you want about that. You're yeah. coming back, so you're fine. Do that first. Fucking hell. Yeah, I, I'm, that's all I can say. I've cool learned my lesson. That's cool it. Means. Well, really great to have a chat with you. Brother. Have a good rest of your festival. Oh, I'm here all week. So am I. Uh, uh, so maybe we'll get maybe some collab reviews. We'll see. We, we, we shall see. Uh, anyway, take care. Cheers for watching. See you on the next one.